Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akabane101, and welcome back to Dark Cloud. It is episode 8 today, and we are going to dungeon. Yes, dungeoning is the way to go for this episode. Because we didn't do any dungeons last time, might as well get right into the thick of things, into the Vine Beast Cave. And I have been drinking a lot. I was over at my brother's house, <laughs> and we were uh, playing some some awesome games yes it was a bunch of fun and now I'm back and I realize I haven't recorded this episode yet so you know that uh, so anyway I've been doing a little bit of grinding just before this episode I took about 30 minutes before I actually started recording to help out level this girl right here and she's pretty awesome when it comes to air units as you can see right here actually uh, I'm basically turning her into my you are my kill bats person lady because that's what makes you awesome and perfect, a wind gem. Actually, I'm going to switch over to her. And what I've been doing is I've actually just been giving her weapon a specific status. Which is uh, specifically... Excuse me. Uh, which is specifically a wind element. I swear to god I just picked up a wind element. Oh wait, no, wait. I, I picked up a throwing item. My bad. I guess I'm just retarded. Just tends to be how things go. So anyway, I'm wondering how this would go here. Oh, I can't... I can't actually, uh... Attack these things from within the water. Maybe because that would be a little bit unfair. But anyway, how the game tends to work, which I generally don't play like this, uh, but I I'm trying something new here. Which is, you should play where you are constantly using most of the characters for... Uh, just for the things that they're usually good at, like, um, Claude, I almost call him Claude. Uh, Tone here, he's really good at fighting melee enemies because he's a melee character. He doesn't have to worry about them being too much of a problem. Uh, however, he's not good against flying enemies, but our girl Xiao is totally great at fighting flying enemies. Actually, she starts with bonuses to fighting flying enemies specifically. Which means she's a lot safer when it comes to fighting enemies like the ghost, who can poison you, and things like that. And so, you know, we have this guy, he's a melee enemy, we'll switch over to this. We can block our way through this, so we can do that, and go one, two, three, and now that guy's dead, and... Oh, shit, he respawns. <laughs> what? What? Uh, never saw that before. Maybe he respawns, and I just remember that he does that. Anyway, no, it just seems like a really, really cool mechanic that I've never really used before because I never felt like it's something that matters in any any particular way. I always played as the main character for this game. And actually, with Final Fantasy XIII, I indeed played in a way that I would only level up Lightning. And then later on, I became stuck in the game because I was playing other characters and... Lightning was somewhere else, which was a pain in the butt. So, I think I'm learning from at least that game that I shouldn't focus on a single character. You should always kind of even it up when it comes to multiple characters. Alright, so let's go to this character, or this, uh, this treasure chest here. Oh, hey! Okay, so I haven't shown you guys this guy yet. He's pretty cool. Hi, is everybody happy? A present from the happy clown? Choose whichever you like. Uh, alright, we have choose the big box or choose the small box. Big box is usually a weapon, and small box is usually, well, um, usually really, really expensive good stuff for your weapon. So, I'm gonna go for the big box, and I'm hoping to get myself a crossbow. So let's see how this goes. You know, that's not a crossbow, but that looks really cool. <laughs> that looks really, really cool. And I can't wait to check that out in a moment here. Got a ghost on my ass. There we go. Fantastic. Hey, there we go. We can level this up again. Alright, so let's go to the... Uh, customize here. I just kind of threw these things in here just because I don't really know if I want to use these or not. Uh, I don't think I will. It doesn't seem like something I would want to use. Speed isn't really a big issue with her anymore. I gave her a speed plus two, but that's about it. And I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. So I'm just going to upgrade this thing. And confirm it. Now, one thing I found out earlier was, uh, I was seeing how much power-up powder sells for, and it's actually 500. Uh, and that sounds awesome. So, you know, if worse comes to worse, I will probably go ahead and switch over to that. That seems like something that would be pretty smart. Hey, we got a dasher going on here. Hey, he's dashed his way to death. Which is always great. Oh, gotta switch over. 
Switch over. Ah! Oh my god, I, I need to actually do this properly. There we go. Still trying to get used to this uh, switching character thing, but I think it's working out. I think fighting these ghosts is a lot easier now, and fighting the bats is certainly not not poisonous to my health. Hey, perfect. We can just kind of tapers off here to the left. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? What is it? What? Oh my... Okay. Uh, I'm definitely not good at fighting that thing, so that's the thing. Okay, I just hit it with my sword and it dies. Perfect. As long as I know how it dies, then I think I can probably survive this with no problem whatsoever. Which is always pretty great. I may also want to start giving Xiao some extra health maybe here later on. I'm not too sure. She is pretty crucial in the final boss fight for this dungeon. Uh, because John is a complete jerk face. Actually, John reminds me a lot of the... Uh, what fight was it in Dark Souls? Uh, I think it was it was the mage lady person. I don't know her name. I completely forget. I think it was the Witch of Isolith. It was the Witch of Isolith or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna heal up this weapon here. Let's go to weapon. That's gonna get more comfortable into my chair. My god, man. Is this my most powerful weapon now? I think it is. I think we're gonna do another weapon change because this is by far by far the best weapon I have. Wow. This thing is something else. Alright, so let's go back here and just check to make sure I don't have anything in your customize, which I don't. So I will make this... Oh wow, this weapon wasn't even that powerful to begin with. Okay, this weapon's gonna be like un unrealistically overpowered. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh wait, I had all this stuff. I guess I would just scroll down a little bit earlier. I was wondering what was going on with that. Alright, my- oh my- oh my- oh my- oh, oh my, Mr. Potter, oh, oh, ten point for Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, wait, do I not have any lightning abilities? Apparently I don't have any lightning abilities, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, however, Dragon Slayer seems like a useful ability as well as killing some- actually, I'm gonna go for the beasts. I'll go for the beast one for this guy here. Now, obviously you saw the upgrade thing there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Also, this weapon can build up, which is actually pretty cool. Alright, we're going to go to the tram area as well. Okay, so this this girl here. This girl lady, lady witch person. Actually, I keep thinking these are these are witches. They're actually just ghosts, and that's pretty much it. We're going to go We're gonna go there. We're going to go to that tram area uh, on our way back. Not yet, though, because I want to get these atlas before I die. A miserable, horrible death. Which is usually what happens when you go to the tram area. Alright, I keep forgetting. She doesn't have the thing. She does not have the thing, which means when you can only use her, it kind of sucks because she, because you, you know you can't get any more Atlas. Wow, okay. Did that kill it? Yeah, there we go. Dude, this blade is awesome. I've never gotten this blade before. I think I've never seen this one, ever. In my entire life of playing Dark Cloud, which is probably not that much. I think I've only put... If, if I were to clock in, like, the amount of time I've put into Dark Cloud in my entire life, it's probably between 30 and 40 hours. And that's just me, like, restarting the game a lot of times, so... You know, I'm not, I'm not skilled. I've never beaten the game before, so, you know. Things can get interesting. That is for sure. Alright, so we have- Oh, hey, finally, hey, because I'm getting full of inventory space, which is generally not that cool. Uh, also, with the odd gaffer thing, I think- Like, someone has pointed out this before, maybe you had to build odd gaffer at the same time you had pike. Uh, if I knew that, then I probably would have done that, because obviously- I I've seen it before, too. Uh, pike actually does go up and build the sign for him and put the sign up, and uh, odd gaffer doesn't have a bad back. Uh, so, you never know. Things- things are weird sometimes, and you never ha you never know what could happen in the future. Alright, we only have one tram oil, but tram oil only really works in this area, so I don't think I'm gonna be, like, doing anything crazy here. And by that, I mean, I'm not gonna be needing the tram oil in the other dungeons for other areas, so might as well use it when I get the chance. No sense in just stocking up on stuff. Because we could find some really cool sting things over here, and you never know. You never know what it could be. Of course, we could always find like a thousand mimics, which is also not very cool. Alright. see. Nope, no mimic yet. This is all awesome. The, the awesome thing about this is that any any 
specific one that you open is something that's going to help you out later on. Which really, really is cool. Makes my life a lot easier. Look at this. Turquoise. Okay, okay. I don't know what turquoise does, but... Yeah, whatever. Alright. There we go. That guy was easy. Two hits. And he was a powered up version. Alright, I think we'll go we'll go right first, and then we'll go left, and we'll head out. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Here we go. Wondering when one of these mimics were gonna show up. Hey, 12 bucks for that one though, that's not so bad. Let's hope this one's not a mimic. But you never know. Yep, it's a mimic. Wow, okay. Did the last one take four hits as well? I don't know, I wasn't really counting. Alright, let's try and get this guy too. One, two. Perfect. I like to count out my hits because I like to just realize how many hits it really takes to kill something. It kind of it's more of a trend when it comes to uh, when it comes to Dark Souls. So I think it's just kind of carrying over to this game. It's really important to know how many hits it takes with your current weapon. Obviously that number of hits tends to change, but hopefully it's getting smaller as it's changing. Because if it's getting higher, usually that means it's not so great. Alright, let's see how this one's doing. Oh, I knew it. Somehow I just knew that was going to happen at some point here. Alright, let's go to our weapon here because I don't want to break it. This is such a great weapon here, so... If we lose it, then that would be rather unfortunate. Wow, this thing just kind of freaks out whenever it... Whenever it gets hit, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm, you're just slapping me stupid right now. Ah, oh, damn, nothing. I, I'm pretty sure that with the larger mimics, they can't even be... Like, when you kill them, they can't turn into weapons. I've never actually seen a weapon drop, and I don't think that's actually possible. You can only get weapons from uh, maybe, like, NPCs or other sorts of things. There's a weapon you get later on that is entirely because of the quest that it's uh, based around, so you never know. You never know, especially when you haven't beaten the game before. But although, I, I'm really interested to see some of the cool new areas after we get uh, out of the forest, the foresty area. That'd be kind of cool. See, these are the Drance Feathers that uh, one of the viewers were talking about, and they are pretty awesome. Uh, and you can buy them from Odd Gaffer and all that cool stuff. Basically, they just make you run faster. But when it comes to this kind of game, you know, you kind of want to run a lot faster. One, two, there we go. Alright, cool. So one thing I kind of want to try out is if I can go back. Uh, like, back out of this area. I'm not going to try it today because the worst thing that could possibly happen is we just did everything and then we had to do it all over again. Of course, we won't have to do this tram area twice in a row, but... Uh, of course, it could always be a pain in the butt if we have to redo it over. I think if I had to redo it over, I would cut the video and do that, but it's really late at night and I'm too lazy to actually stop the video and cut to a future part. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna... We're gonna do one more dungeon and then see how this goes. I have, a, I have a feeling, though, that the next dungeon is gonna be Shao. It's going to be Shao specific, and that's one of the reasons why I was doing some off-camera grinding with her. Because if I did not do that, then bad things would be ha- Wait, whoa, did everything just respawn? Why? That- Did that happen before? I don't remember that happening before, but hey, whatever. Wow, I one-shot that guy, that's awesome. Alright, let's get this guy dealt with. Shao just needs to get a little bit more powerful, but she's doing pretty good with those air units. So, you know, I feel pretty great. I'm not going to bother with fighting all these guys over again. This thing's about to level up. I think I will level it up with all those things that are in it right now. This is a very good weapon. I'm just surprised I've never seen it before. It looks so, so cool. Like, crazy cool. Right, let's get this guy. Wow. Destroying him. Sax's abs. Actually, let's level up before we kill this guy, because abs don't carry over. Alright, we'll upgrade. Yeah, there we go. So those one are now stuck in it forever. Kind of like how Materia works, I think. Oh wait, no. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about some... Oh wait, I, I'm thinking about something that I cannot disclose, because I'm in... I'm in a non-disclosure agreement. 
Uh, so let's just pretend that you don't know anything and, uh, and we'll be good. Hey, turquoise. Okay, gem can be attached to a... Alright, cool. What does it do? What does it do? Ice damage. That's what it does. And it increases anti-mimic damage and anti-rock damage. You know what? That is awesome. I don't... I don't mind that. Let's get some uh, undead damage going on here and some dragon slayer damage going on here. Yeah, there we go. We are going to be awesome. This weapon is unreal. I don't, I don't know if you guys have guessed already, but I think the, I think the weapon's kind of cool. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. Oh my god! I took him out in one hit. <laughs> One thing you will notice with this weapon, however, is that it doesn't break if you swing and miss. However, if you're playing as Shao, then the, the big deal with Shao is that she always has a constant rate at which she loses her endurance on her weapon. Uh, however, oh, see, see, I knew it. I knew it. Limited zone with Shao. Uh, but she, if she misses, then it's still gonna hurt her endurance. Which is really a big issue. Oh yeah, we can jump across these things. Yeah, there we go. Cool. As long as you don't have to deal with anything that's like stone-based, then I, I'm okay. Shouldn't have anything to worry about. I stocked up on a few more repair powders and things like that because I was, you know, leveling with her a little bit. Hmm, excuse me. Ah, speed plus one, and let's map. Okay, perfect. And I f have a feeling this is a whale. No, wait, no, it's a dragon! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. It ate the dragon. Oh, my God, I died. <laughs> shit. Uh, how much money do you lose when you die? Oh, with half of my money. Oh, okay. That's actually not that bad. I can get that back. Alright. We're going right back in there. In a moment. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the odd gaffer real quick and see what's going on with him. Uh, also, I want to show you guys some stuff. I moved Paige's house over here next to the pond. Uh, and the reason for that is because her dad likes that. Her dad likes the house. Uh, oh wait, actually we have some, we have a few things now. Let's, let's just go ahead and do that. I feel that's probably a bit better. Uh, we have a pot, we have, or I guess it's a jar. We have some other stuff that we can't really use yet. We have a slot here, and it's big and pointy, and we have uh, the <laughs> don't touch or it will burn you. Yes, we have uh, a thing there. So, Hag's house. So, let's get... Well, not Aunt Lori, but we want Hag. And then... Oh, no. Uh, shit, we don't have... Um, we don't have a storage unit. Well, that's unfortunate. That's not good. Ah, well. We'll get her prepped. We'll get her prepped and ready. So, at a moment's notice, we don't have to worry about a single thing. Alright, let's go into her house. Actually, first, let's... Let's find if there's anything we can steal yet. Yeah, there we go. Nothing at all. Alright, let's see. Okay, that would be where her storage room would be. And then, uh, where's old Hag? There she is. Oh, it's you, Tone! Uh, oh, it's you, Tone! You startled me! What did you say? You get this old, you your hearing goes! Tell me how to rebuild your house, woman! Let's see. I'd like a bench outside so I can sit in the sun. And the jars, I'd like them displayed outside too. <sighs> well, we're only missing one thing, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world, that is of course the truth of the matter here, so let's not worry about that too much. Alright, so we just need a shed. We just need a shed. Well, I guess actually finishing Paige's house wasn't so bad. Claude's house, though. Oh, man. What a waste. What a big waste. Arr. That really sucks. That really sucks because, uh... Hag is really, really useful. Alright, let's continue. We'll let this episode go on a little bit longer than the normal length of normal episodes. Uh, just for the reason that we missed Thursday. And I kind of want to continue playing because it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> This game is awesome. Alright, let's go back into B11.
Hopefully I don't just start dead. And then that wouldn't make any sense though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now you guys can see why it's a good idea. Oh my god. I'm just gonna ignore that, okay? It's like, not even... Not even worth it. I'll kill every other monster on the map. Except for that dragon. And if that dragon has drawn his crest, then I will be super angry, sad person. There we are. God. And see, they even purposefully make this, this level here, like, evil. In every single way. It's like, oh, you, I'm sorry, you wanted to, you wanted to, you know, survive? Oh my god. You've got to be serious, right? You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this area. I'm leaving this area. I'm going someplace else. <laughs> this is bullshit. Give me enemies that I can actually kill, please. My god, I can't kill you either. And, uh, and it gives, you, gives me a whale. I can kill you, though. Yeah, you're not so bad. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, give me the Drans Crest. No, I knew it would be too good to be true. It's locked. Let's force the chest open with poison. And I'm super smart. It's almost always poison. Hey, we have a new sword. It would be great to have a new freaking, uh, whatever you call these things. Slingshot. Why? Why, why do you, why do you exist? All right, I got, I got this. Whenever he does something stupid, I will hit him. Shit. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh. <laughs> this guy is a dick. Yeah, I'm gonna mess you up. You'll probably one shot me, but I give I give Shao the extra defense with the fish candy. Uh, so you know why? Why does she like fish candy and not like cat food? I guess I guess cat kind of like fish. So, ah, uh, please tell me you have Drawn's crust on you. Oh, ah, uh, this is the end of the world. This is literally worse than apocalyptic ways of worlds and stuff. I might be able to kill that, that whale, though. I should see. Yeah, there we go. That whale's fine. I just don't want to get slowed by that. I love how the guy keeps blocking whenever I fire. He must have some sort of mechanic in him. Some sort of AI that's like, whenever Shao fires at him, he blocks. And that is it. Oh, shit. I did not mean to get hit there. Oh. As if, like, I... Oh, my God, we won. Oh. We won. It's over. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's ignore everything and everyone and just run for the exit. Actually, I'm not really running for the exit considering it's at the bottom left of the screen. I want some treasure. I will settle for treasure. And hopefully not get hit by that asshole that calls himself a dragon. Yay, he's a bone key. Pretty sure that guy, that dragon thing, one shot at me. I'm not entirely sure if he did, but it feels like he kind of did. But anyway, I'm going for the rest of these treasures because this is pretty cool. All right, Let's see what we got here. Yeah, hey, you're easy to kill. Look at that. Super powerful shall being super powerful and all that good stuff. Big full can't carry more. That is not great. Let's uh, let's just use this because those are pretty inexpensive, and I don't really care. All right, let's see what you got. Cheese. It kind of makes up for it. That's not so bad. Cheese is pretty good. Almost got hit there. Almost had to use the cheese, and then that trade would have been bad. All right, so it seems like that area with the dragon is like the hub area of this entire level. Because it goes everywhere. Alright. Gotta use more of our pro elite dodging skills to get away from that dragon. Use the bone key, see what's over there, steal all the treasure, and get out. That's the battle plan. Let's see how that goes. It's probably gonna fail miserably, but we'll see what happens. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a giant whale. 
Owner, are the whales considered beasts? I would have to assume that the whales are considered beasts. Just in some way. Alright, I'm gonna get a mimic here. I can just feel it. There's three treasure chests. Oh wait, well this one would be a map then, right? Oh shit. Which means there is very much a chance. Very much a chance that this big one is gonna be a mimic. Which would be really sad. Oh, hey, okay, that's way better. All right, let's hope that, <laughs> let's hope that this big box has uh, something I want. Oh, it has Gladius. You know, Gladius is actually not so bad. Um, I wish I could take a look. Oh, I can take a look. Okay. Let's see. How good is Gladius? No, it's not actually that good. I thought it was way better than this, but maybe it's just a really good backup weapon, considering it has pretty good. HP and endurance going on there, so yeah, as a backup, maybe, maybe we could go with that. Gladius, of course, favorited weapon of the Romans, as many people know this. It's pretty like common knowledge, but it is uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty useful weapon, from what I've seen in that Crytek game using Cry Engine Three. Brr. Alright, anyway guys, we have been running for a little bit longer than normal length, so thank you for watching, I'm Acme 101 If you enjoyed the video, feel free to click the like button, and of course, subscribe to the series. But until next time, I'm Acme 101 which I've already said, in case you guys forgot, because, you know, memory, <laughs> memory does seem to run out very quickly. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, bye! Uh -huh.